Police Minister Peggy Kale has ordered an investigation into why Mpumalanga Premier Rafilo M. Tsweni Tsipane was seen without a mask at the funeral of late minister in the presidency, Jackson M. Tembu. Footage taken after the funeral shows her arriving at the cemetery without a mask. The Premier's office describing the matter as a temporary glitch that was swiftly resolved. She has apologized to the people of Mpumalanga and the country. Well, for more on the story, I'm joined by Mpumalanga Premier Rafilo Mtweni's spokesperson, Spongile Mkani Mpolweni. Ms. Mkani Mpolweni, thank you very much for your time. Exactly which is the explanation here when the Premier got to the cemetery? Was the mask damaged? Or did the Premier not realise that her mask had fallen off? Good morning, Polly. Yes, correctly. As stated in the statement, the mask was damaged, but she didn't realise that it had fallen off. Therefore, she didn't realise that the mask was not on her face. You know, these surgical masks, the string tends to break. So it broke, and because she was wearing a duke, and the mask is worn behind the ear, and the, the duke is covering the ear, she didn't feel it when it fell off. All right. Then talk to us about the element where she is seen hugging a police officer whilst her mask is off. In fact, the very act of hugging someone, particularly uh, a member of the public, why did the Premier do that? Well, that was not a hug, Polly. It, she was leaning towards the police officer as the police officer was informing her of the mask. So because there was music in the cemetery, she couldn't hear what she was saying, and she leaned forward to go closer to the, to the police officer she list, to listen what, to what the police officer was saying. The police officer was actually telling her about the mask. All right, so she wasn't hugging the police officer. <sighs> There was the element inside the venue of the funeral service, Ms. Mkani Mpolweni, where the Premier walks off stage with her mask held in hand. Those visuals, we're playing them for the viewers right now. The Deputy President signals to her to put on the mask. Did she eventually put on the mask for the duration of the service? Yes, Tony, there are visuals to that effect. As she was talking on the podium, she took off her mask. She walked down, carrying the mask, and as soon as she sat down, she wore the mask. For the duration of the funeral, inside the hall, she was wearing a mask. She was also seen outside the visual, where she was talking to the uh, chief whip uh, of the ANC in Parliament, Mampen Majodina, where she was wearing a mask, outside the venue, while they were waiting for the entourage to take them to the cemetery. Ms. Mm. Mkan Poloni, yes, how is the premier... Masks. There are visuals there, mm. visible, where she's wearing two masks. How has the Premier she reacted? Let, let me ask you Come this again? question. How has the Premier reacted to suggestions by the Police Minister, Peggy Kale, that he is going to uh, mount an investigation into her conduct, that of not wearing a mask in public? Well, the Premier has not denied that she, at some point she was not wearing a mask. She has admitted to it. And therefore, she welcomes the investigation, and she's open to uh, the, the minister even talking to her and asking what has happened, which is what she has already explained. And mm. she has sincerely apologized for that. She's not denying it. She apologizes and acknowledges. Yeah. Ms. Mkanipolone, I want to take you back to the scenes at uh, the cemetery. The premier, as you've already explained, that she wasn't aware that the mask had fallen off, and then she's seen almost greeting the public. Almost, she's, she, she comes across as though she is at some awards ceremony, completely oblivious to the solemn occasion where she is at. This is a cemetery where someone is being laid to rest, in particular a minister who was leading the communication around the wearing of masks, and making sure that South Africans adhere to the non-pharmaceutical interventions. The Premier doesn't look like a person who likes wearing a mask. Did you feel that uh, she, maybe the mask was cramping her style? No, Tom. 
you always wear the mask. There are visuals from your station where she was being interviewed even the day before where she was wearing a mask. Mm. So she has no problem with wearing a mask. She wears the mask each and every time she is in the public and even conducting meetings inside uh, the offices. She has no problem whatsoever with wearing a mask. Well, if you are saying that she, she behaved as if she was at the awards, that's your own interpretation. She was greeting people who were greeting her and, of course, oblivious to the fact that her mask had fallen off oblivious to the fact that the mask had fallen off. How would you not notice that the mask is off your mouth? I mean, it's the most obvious thing. Well, it is the obvious thing to you, maybe, but to some people and the occasion who did not realize that the mask had fallen off. Talk to us about that, <laughs> that broad smile. She is waving as if, again, I say, it's an awards ceremony. What was going on there? She was greeting someone who was greeting her. And that is that? Yes. All right. Ms. Mkani Mpolweni, spokesperson for the Premier of uh, Mpumalanga Refulu M20 Zipane. That is the sum total of uh, the explanation. You'll be the judge of whether or not we as South Africans should accept her apology. Thank you very much for your time. Smongilim Gandhi Polwenia.